Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, I haven't gotten to play Witcher 2 since we moved. Um, we had an emergency move out in the middle of the night, seriously 1 a.m. There were roaches, there were black mold on the walls, there was a weird mushroom growing out of the carpet. It was just kind of the final straw. So we were already set up this new place, but it's taken me a couple of weeks to set up my gaming systems. So um, I do apologize for the wait. So we are back in the town of Ergen. Oh, and by the way, I got a new TV that has 1080 capability, so I've upped the Xbox capability. So we'll see if that has an effect on this. I don't know if we'll have an actual effect on the um, screen, but we'll see how it goes. So basically, when I last left you, I got to the town of Ergen. I got to play that um, other character for just a short time. Pardon, it's a load screen. I normally would cut it, but I'm talking. Um, Got to town, and now I need to just find my room. Once I find my Luke, room, after one. I follow this you let one this young dwarf, no um, I'll go to the War Council. The and um, also, I'll be perfectly honest, I read up a little bit on The Witcher. And so after that, I'll go to the... After the War Council, I'll probably go find Model, who's one of the people I freed, and get a key from her. Once I get the key, we'll then have evidently like half a dozen quests I can pull from. So... So I have lots of Let's Plays coming up, and I wish this guy would walk a little quicker, though. Just a little quicker. That would be nice. Uh, let's see. I did end up playing through this portion already once, but I forgot to hit record for the video. The audio recorded, but the video didn't, this so I had to redo it. So if I know what I'm doing here, they say Selkirk it's because I've already had to himself so slept in this bed before battle. It. Didn't bring him any luck. But at least he was well rested before he died. Need anything else? I need everything, Scalen. <laughs> New quest phase. The War Council. Attend the War Council. Geralt, right? My uncles told me a lot about you. Nice work with those specters. And Saskia! Well, I wager the gods didn't think you could save her. Your uncle? Of course I'd save her. Cecil! I help him out here and there, managing Vergen. Scaling burdens, my name. Nice to meet you. All right, tell me about Cecil, guy. Tell Is me about Cecil. Cecil. Your guardian? Aye. Ever since my parents passed on, he took me in, fed me, taught me a profession and how to live, really. How did your parents die? During one of the massacres Demavend arranged for us. But I'd rather not talk in that. Sure. Sorry. All right, you plan to what fight in the battle, buddy? The battle rolls around. I'll be right out front fighting. Uncle Cecil's allowed it. Says I'm an adult. I'm gonna kick some kid when he arse. No fears. Of what? My uncle believes I can do it. And Yarpin taught me how to swing an axe with follow through. I'll smash a few heads. Then go to the tavern and drink till I drop. It's not quite that easy, buddy. Anything Battles can happen. Unpredictable, and this will be your first. You'll have to kill, wade through piles of bloody corpses, all the while watching you don't get cut down yourself. Sure you're ready for this? What are you getting at, Witcher? Think I faint at the sight of blood? I'm no court damsel. I'm a dwarf! Okay, Cecil. You get it your way. I will see you later. Dead. Oh, arm no, dude, no, no, really no, like arm wrestle. wrestle but, uh, it's not the contest of the century. I just want to test you. Steady on. I've got conditions. First, you have to beat Yarpen and Sheldon. Okay. So I'm going to head off to the council, guys. I will meet back up with you there. Okay, guys, we're going to hit the war council here. Straight ahead is the war council. You'll notice to the front is what looks like an old-fashioned fertility goddess. Um, I wonder if the dwarves actually worship that. That would be awesome. But that's kind of an old-school, old human, thousands of years ago tribal thing. Also, um, I noticed a lot of references to elves and dwarves being in ghettos. I wonder how much Witcher took from Dragon Age, or more likely Dragon Age took from Witcher. Okay, so let's head on in. Um, and I'll go in. I'm sure there'll be the cutscenes now. There we go. You miss quite a scrap, gentlemen, and an opportunity to slay a monarch. 
There was a struggle and the prince was wounded. You've all seen the magical phenomenon covering the battlefield. For any who still have doubts, this is no mundane mist, nor a petty fairground illusion. Most likely, we're up against a blood curse, an old and powerful spell. We do not know who cast it or why. For now, I have one piece of good news and several pieces of bad news. The good news is that Henselt and his army have been halted for the time being. And the bad news? The mist will grow. It may even engulf Vergen. Furthermore, wraiths may emerge from it. Can they be made penitent? With an axe to the head? In theory, yes. But I would suggest putting your faith in a silver weapon. Furthermore, the ghosts will weaken as they move away from the mist. Is there any way to drive it off? Exorcise it? A question for myself and Geralt of Rivia. The Kingslayer? Contrary to what old women at the wells say, he did not, in fact, slay any kings. Of course he didn't. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Look at his eyes. You'll see he's the sensitive kind. Whatever you may see in his eyes, few know more about lifting curses. Gentlemen, I do not require you to understand this phenomenon, but there are a few rules I insist you must follow. Here we go. No one is to approach the mist. It is mortally dangerous. In addition, we need to learn the story of the battle. For this, I especially count on the aid of Mr. Cecil Burden. At your service, my lady. Thank you. To lift the curse, we require some objects symbolic of the war. Ones belonging to those who perished here three years past. Pfft! More scrap iron from that massacre lying about than lice in Cecil's beard. I thought curses were best handled with... Please leave the thinking to me, Mr. Zigrin, and I'd gladly hear less from you from now on. The objects must be magically active and strictly linked to the ghosts of the fallen. That is all. Let me be clear. You're all to aid Philippa and the Witcher. What are you grumbling about now, Yarpen? Uh, <clears throat> oh my god, they need to fix her kit. Guard Take her, a swig her of breastplate. Wine. Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200. But don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come. Though you'll get no precise count. My lords? 53 knights and another 200 armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads 5,000. Five to one against us. What think you of that? We are few, they are many. But we have our walls, low though they be. If we had archers, who knows? Oh, for a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria. We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. They really need to fix her armor. I really find that annoying that her boobs are showing and it's a metal breastplate and she's a fighter. That that right there, that really bugs me. A lot. I'm not sure when I became such a feminist, but it really does. Gentlemen, it's ridiculous. I give you your vest. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit-coated stick can be a weapon. He burned down the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the northern realms? This is too much. Saskia, say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf. Treason runs in his veins. He's been fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard, for the Valley of the Flowers, in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls and elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. 
They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Yorveth to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kadweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile, if only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. Yorveth stays. Bloody hell. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. I say I. Nay, you killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, I Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! Yep, the breastplate really does bug me, guys. Sorry, I'm going to point it out every time I see it. Perfect place for a sword to stab her in the chest. Poison. Poison! No! She's dying. Take her somewhere safe and guard her with your lives. I'll <coughs> gather what I need and join you soon. I'll place my best warriors on watch. Quickly, lads! A letter! She ceased casting spells. Saskia, is she alive? In a manner of speaking, I've slowed her life functions as far as possible. Her condition is stable. What can we do? Treatment will require herbs, magic, and blood. Not ordinary blood, I presume. Correct. We require royal blood. We could use letho right now. What kind of herbs are we talking about? I'll need a subterranean variety of purple foxglove, known to the dwarves as the Immortel, and an elven rose of remembrance. Oh, Triss has one. Oh, yep, Triss mm -hmm. has a rose of remembrance. Triss had a rose of remembrance. She claimed the flowers are exceptional. Long ago, the En Shea, who succeeded in cultivating the roses, enjoyed great respect. Times have changed. As have elves. There are no elven gardens nearby. We must return to Flotsam. Triss has a rose of remembrance from Flotsam. It's her we need to find. Hmm. Triss had a rose of remembrance. Long ago, the En Times have... As have Sorry, elves. I went through that. Elves. Triss has a rose this. Okay, so where do I look for the immortels? Where will we find immortels? They grow deep beneath the earth, which should not be a problem as Vergen lies on top of a mine. How will they help Saskia? Mage pain wreaks havoc in internal tissues. The immortel will help restore them. What else do you need to heal Saskia? Thormador is a self-perpetuating substance. Any incursion into a cluster of poisoned cells causes an immediate chain reaction. Each tainted cell that is removed is replaced by ten new tainted cells. To interrupt this reaction, I'll need an ungodly amount of the power. A water or air genie, or one of the twenty legendary rings of power would be best. One to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. Right. And then I'll have to run barefooted to the top of a volcano. All right, all right. Let's forget the rings. I need a vast quantity of the power, no matter the source. Find something. An immortel, a rose of remembrance, royal blood and magic sounds like a fairy tale. A poor one at that. No prince's kiss to top things off. I wish it were a fairy tale, especially a poor one, as a happy ending would then be inevitable. May I count on your help, Geralt? You may. What about the Battle of Wraiths? I must first see if the spells keeping Saskia alive are in order. Then we'll consider how best to send the spectres to their rest. Actually, you could tend to that yourself. Ask the locals about the battle, maybe you'll learn something. In that case, I shall search for the poisoner. I wanted more questions. Like, why do you need royal blood? Only Philip of Oh, new quest phase work council. Oh, quest completed the War Council. Yay! 
I'm leveling up. That'll be awesome. I will be able to fit up, finish out the Witcher path. That will be nice. Ooh, where's Triss Marigold? I get to do a new quest part of that because I want to get her back. The Eternal Battle. Get Royal Blood. Now, one of the advantages I had is having had to have gone through this, I know that Royal Blood, it's not have to be current Royals, it has to be through their line of people because they don't marry commoners very often, which of course is one of those, I don't want to say racist or classist, but whatever you call it, that certain people are meant to rule and certain people aren't reinforcing that stereotype. But I did love the reference to Lord of the Rings, that was pretty funny. So I have a ton of things to go on for quests. I do know I need to go to model and get a key for later on. Unfortunately, I have to sell my body to her. But evidently, she's selling her body to me in thanks. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about all that. But I do know I'll need that key later. Uh, before I do anything, I, I will meet you guys there. But before I even get there, I'll also buy my new skills. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, just like we got to go to the opening of the gate, guys. So here's a cutscene. People of Vergen, we have a magical mist full of ghosts just outside our walls. So you'd better think twice before entering it. The mist? May the plague take it. Threatens all manner of creatures. So anyone headed to the quarries or walking through the galleys should take exceptional heed. The squirrels that have made camp by the burnt huts are not our enemies. So says Saskia. And so it is. Master Geralt of Rivia and Sorceress Philippa Eilhart will deal with the mist and the wraiths. And now, open the gates and get to work. Oh, just a quick note, I bought mostly sword fighting skills, I finished up my witcher training path, and it's because I'm mostly a swords guy, I'm not really good with um, magic or alchemy on this, so I'm not going to focus on that, because I kind of blunder my way through. Okay, we're back to get the key for model, I feel so dirty doing this, plus that and me and Triss are thing, but you know, maybe we're poly, maybe that's what it is. Greetings, Batgirl. I'm glad to see you again. Again? Plotson? The fire? Funny how these things work. I'll never forget that. Oh, unimportant. Needless to say, I'm deeply indebted. Hmm. Sorry. No need to be. But I feel I should pay you back somehow. I've started anew here, you know. That always builds confidence. Sure I can't tempt you with something. Oh yeah, you can tempt me. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? It is if you want it to be. We elves might seem strange by your standards. You saved my life. A bit of joy as recompense is not too much to ask. I'm intrigued. It's been a tough day. I think some joy might do me good. What is it with him being shirtless all the time? Although, I mean, it's kind of nice to see the turnaround, but... But it's always shirtless Geralt. I wonder if the first video game was like that, or if the first video game had this much sex. Alright, model. Can I have my key now? Am I ever glad to have that debt off my mind? You weren't in debt. I'm happy oh for God. us both. Oh, I have a memento for you. Take this. A key? Hmm. To an old mine pit. I've no use for it. But you're quiet there. All right. Thanks. Okay, guys. That's where I'm going to kind of leave it right now. We got enough for a good Let's Play in. Um, I have a ton of missions to go through to save Saskia, to look out for the battle to Spectres. And I will um, see you guys then. Take care.